Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Sam. In this video, I'm going to talk about the figure, close, and close all command in MATLAB. The idea for the figure is when we draw a plot in MATLAB, usually the figure window is appear. And once we execute in the plot command again, what will happen that this window will be closed and new window with the new figures will be appear. But what if, if we need to show post figure window to compare, for example, or do any other things? So in that sense, to show multiple figure window, we should use the figure command. And once we need to close, we need to close to use the close command and close all to close this window. Let's check in details. So as I mentioned, Every time we execute the plot command, it closes the previous plot window or figure window and then create a new figure window. But if we need to keep the previous window, we should use a figure, so the figure command will create a new figure window without closing the previous window. And the general form for the figure, it's just the word figure. And the figure will create a new figure window without closing the previous figure window and if we need to close the active figure window we can use the close command but if we need to close all open figure window we need to use the close all command let's check this example so that we need to plot the function y1 equals sine x and y2 equals cosine x for x in range between 0 to 360. But we need to plot both, both in the separate window using the figure command. And we need to add the legend, which is the function, which is y1 equals sine x and y2 equals cosine x to each figure. Let's check how to do that. So let, let's go to MATLAB and do that. This MATLAB window. And this time I will not use the live script because the live script is showing the figures on the inside the live script so we can't check or we can't edit the figure window so in this time i will use the matlab script file which we can click new script file or new and the script file and now we have the script file is open here so we need we don't need the command window to be very big like that. So I'm going to drag down here. And then the workspace we need to make to give a little bit smaller. And then let's increase the space. So here, this is MATLAB script file. And we need to define x as we explained. So x is equal to the range from 0 to 360 so we are going to use line space and the range from 0 360 and the number of element for example 40 and semicolon to suppress the output and then define the y1 which equal to sine d because the x is is in degree for x and semicolon and y2 is equal to cosine d of x now I define post the input if I run now and that it will ask us to save the file because running the script file should be saved before it run so I will select download and then I will name it anything for example figure check and then save and once we run now we can check that x y1 y2 as a variable was defined here and because i run the figure is 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 and name it here it's shown in the command window here and we need now to plot so let's make the window on the left side and let's a little bit increase the workspace and then let's write plot for x and y1 let's consider the first one and then run 
If I run, this is the figure window. And the figure window show here the sine wave for y1. If I write again, plot x comma y2, and let's check what will happen for this figure now. So we executed the first plot one, and then we executed plot x y2, and then run. What happened that the window, like for the sign, was closed after executing, and the new one, which is the y equal the the plot x comma y2 and y2 equal to cosine x, it means cosine. It's shown here, but we don't need that. We don't need to show the sign and then close it and show the cosine. We need to keep both window. So what I need to do is add figure and then let's run again now we have two window is a beer now the first window is a window for the let me a little bit minimize that one so the figure one is a figure for sine and the figure two is a figure for cosine so now we have both window is shown i can do whatever i need for each window for example, for the window number one, I can say, please insert the legend, which we need to add like the y1 equal to sine x. And let's run this bar to check. So please note that the new figure window was open here because already all the window is open we don't need that we don't need to have all this window what we should do so let me teach you the second things which is close all so before close before plotting any addition what we need is we need to close all other open window because we only need only two windows so if i write close all this command means that before we define the variables and before going down here, first close all open window and then plot x, y1 and put the legend for that and open a new figure window and plot x, y2. Let's check. Run. So now all the window open window is closed and now we have two figure window. The first figure window for the sine x, which is here with the legend which is y equals sine x and the second window which is figure 2 for defining cosine and we need to insert the legend for that window so we can enter defined which is y2 equal and then cosine of x and run again and why it close as I mentioned because we put close all so if i put close all it will close all open window before doing the other things because we don't need to have many many open window we need just to keep this window so we we close all put the first one put the legend which is here and then figure to add a new window which is this one and then plot x y2 and then put the legend which is here this is the legend y2 equal cosine x and and if we need to adjust for example we need to add here the y value is amplitude the y label so we can write y label which is amplitude and then we can run again the window will be closed figure two figure one and we have here the amplitude for figure one is root so we can adjust whatever we need because this part is for plot one this part for plot two and the figured command it adjusted that for us okay let's go again to the our presentation to check what is the next question we need to add for And here's the presentation this is the question and here is the answer we write what we need and the figure and we have two figures here and uh, that this is practice for you let's read together and then pause the video and start to do it by yourself so in that figure we need to plot 
the function y equal to 3x cubed minus 26x plus 6 and its derivative which is yd equal to 9x squared minus 26 for x between the range from minus 2 to 4 and we need to plot in two separate window using the figure window I think it is very easy and very straightforward let's go to MATLAB to do that this is the code let's have a new script file so let's maximize the window let's close this one and let's open the new script file and for that script file we need to hear CLC to clear this window and clear to clear all the variable in the workspace and let's do what they ask us so we need to define x between minus 2 to 4 so let's write here so x will equal to line space between minus 2 to 4 and the number of element for example 100 and semicolon to suppress the output and then defined y and yd so y is equal to in this function it was 3 multiplied to x to the power but x is a is a it, it it's not a variable it is a vector and to raise a vector to the power we should use the dot power so we should write dot to the power and then q and then minus 26 multiplied to x and then plus 6 and semicolon to suppress the output and define yd which equal to 9 multiplied to x to the power 2 but we should use the dot because this is not like a scalar it's a vector and then minus 26 and then semicolon to suppress the output let's check that we run correctly and we need to save so this is the figure practice so we can write figure and then two and we just run it it work there is no problem so that's okay if we just remove the power here and just run it will give the error and the error will shown up there it, it will say that the error in the in the power and we should check that we should use dot power because this is dot operation so we just minimize again and then we need to plot the two function in two separate windows so just plot and then x comma y and let's again have the window i mean matlab window in the one side to check what will happen and we have some open window we can write here in the command window down there close all to close all of these or close by mouse or before the code itself i can write close all and let's check run so because we write close all it close all the open window and then it plot x comma y so if i need to write plot x comma yd and then run so now in the figure we have only one figure and it show only x1d because we didn't use a figure to keep but if we use figure I'm just giving enter to give some space for you to know what is the different part of the code. Of course, we can eliminate it all the enter. And then run the code now. So now we have two figure. One figure for the y, y plot x. And the second window for the yd. So one for y and one for yd. So now we finish what it was required, but just remember again, if we need to adjust any things, for example, for the first one, we can enter the, for example, for the first one, we can enter the title. And in this title, we can add, for example, we can write, for example, this is y 
function and then run the section. Figure 2, there is no things, but for figure 1, we have the y function. If we need for the second one, we need to add x label. We can write x label and then we can write the x range. And then run the section. So for the second one, we have x range. For the first one, we have y function. So what I need to say is the figure, it is very nice to because it can keep the previous figure window and open the new figure window for us. So we can use that one and we can use the close all to close all the window. And we can use, for example, do you remember this is close? This is the, the one which it's active window because I click here and this is the window I move. If I write here close, it will open the active window. So the close is only close active window. But if I run again, and then we have figure two, figure one. And if I write here, close all, it will close all the window. That's all for that video. Thank you. Bye-bye.